Hi, I'm Jen Crosley from Australia and I'm a part of the Ice Dress and Design team for 2013. Um, I'd like to welcome you to my studio which is my dining room table as well and um, we do have some interesting teas around here with my drill setup. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about my favourite tools. Some of my favourite tools, I couldn't just pick one, I've got several that I like. Um, a favourite of mine is my bench pin. I use this for uh, filing metal, as you can see, drilling holes into, sawing. Um, it's like a third arm, so I really love my bench pin. The next thing I'd recommend is a pair of good tin snips. Because I use a lot of metal, I find these have been a brilliant set of tin snips. I actually bought them online um, years ago, and um, I'm not too sure who's got them now, but uh, I'll just show you that. With a good set of tin snips, you can actually just cut and it just cuts through the metal like butter. And that's how easy those ones are. So they're one of my all-time favourites for a lot of metal work. The next thing that you really do need is a, um, a bench block if you're going to be doing a lot of jewellery and banging. Um, I've also got a sandbag which, um, as well as reducing the noise, it also um, is good for protecting your arm. If you're doing a lot of banging like onto a straight table you're getting that all up your arm all the time, the, um, the shock. So on this it pads the shock value. Uh, also my file, can't do without uh, my mill file. Another thing is my riveting hammer. This is one of my favourites. Um, I do a lot of riveting in my work and if you can get yourself a good riveting hammer that's um, a, a given. Uh, these would be my all-time favourites if I was to pick anything. These are my flush cutters. They're from a company called Kiaba, I think it's called. I'm not too sure it's Japanese. Uh, they tend to cut through your mini screws and bolts like butter. So invest in these. Um, invest in these. <laughs> uh, another thing I can't really do without is my drill. When I first started I used a cordless drill, a Dremel, and I finally lashed out and bought myself um, one of these drill stands. It's actually not a Fordham, it's a cheaper brand, but um, I find that it's, um, it's excellent with everything I need to do. Uh, flexible arm on it so I can um, move it around a bit easier and of course you must have your safety glasses on at all times. And the last thing um, I would say is my spring-loaded punch. When you're going to be doing anything with metal you need to make a divot in the metal and this is an excellent um, tool for just making a little dent in there so your, that your drill will um, go into easily. So if you put these on, I'll quickly show you. Put these off for a second. Your safety glasses. And you've actually got the, the mark to put the drill into so it stops it from skidding all over the metal. If you didn't have a mark there for a start off, it would skid and not um, go into the metal properly. But as soon as you pop it into the hole bit, you've made the impression straight through. I've already put the screw through a pre-drilled hole and attached the washer to the back or the nut to the back and just with the flush cutters I just want to show you how easy this really is. Um, you put it flush with the bottom of the nut, you go up just a tad and just put your hand just so it, um, it won't let that fly off and hit someone in the eye and that's it. They just really do cut like butter. Um, and then continuing on with my favourite riveting hammer, just pop this onto the metal block just going to go around and round, sort of like spreading butter as well, just to make a dome shape on the top of the, the end of the screw. So when you feel it, it should actually be nice and soft. So I hope you've enjoyed my favourite tools um, and I'll see you next time.